Hi everyone, this is Dr. Diana Songsong of MathHubTutorial.com. In today's lesson, we are going to transform the equation of a line from standard form to slope-intercept form. If this is your first time in my channel, do subscribe so that you will be notified for future videos. Enjoy watching! Alright, so let us recall first the meaning of standard form. What is the meaning again of standard form? It is of this form, ax plus by equals c. So meaning to say your variables are on one side and your constant is just on the other side. So for example, we have this, x plus y equals 5. We want to write it in slope-intercept form. In slope-intercept form, look at how it looks like. Your y is on one side of the equation and then the x and the constant appears on the other side. So basically, our goal here is to isolate y, okay? Just isolate y and then put the others on the other side of the equation. So let's do just that. So um, let us look at this one, this example, x plus y equals 5. So what we want to do is to achieve y equals something here, okay? So that we would have our slope-intercept Form. So basically, we just want our y, again, on one side of the equation. So if you will look at this, you have an x here. We do not want to have our x here because we just want our y to be on this side. So what will we do? We'll remove the x here. How? We will subtract x both sides, on both sides of the equation. Understand? Because x minus x that would now be 0. So basically, what we're doing is just we're doing the opposite operation. So if it's x here, you subtract x, right? So what is left? y is equal to 5 minus x. But remember that our goal is that x occurs first. So how do we write this? So 5 minus x is just the same as this is like plus 5, alright? So we will include the sign so that's negative x plus 5 again what did i do there this one here this is negative x okay the minus x there so you include that negative x plus 5 so therefore that is now your slope intercept form y is equal to negative x plus 5 so what is this saying what is your m your m here is, what is your m here, class? It's the number multiplied to x. So what is that number multiplied to x here? It's negative 1, correct? Because negative x is the same as negative 1 times x plus 5. And then your b, in this case, is 5. The intercept here refers to the y intercept we will talk about intercepts on the next um, video lesson but for now we just know that the m here the slope is negative one and the intercept is the y intercept is equal to five let's look at all right so let's look at our next example we have 2x minus y equals 7 all right so remember that we want to isolate our y so here I want to remove the 2x here. So just like in our previous example, you subtract 2x on both sides. So this becomes, this cancels out. 2x minus 2x is 0. So we have negative y is equal to 7 minus 2x. But remember that what we want is y. But in this case, I have negative 1 multiplied to y. So we want to remove that negative 1 over there. So what will we do in order to remove that? Since negative 1 is multiplied to y and we do not want that, we so divide both sides by negative 1. Remember, because negative 1 is multiplied to y, is multiplied to y. So therefore, the opposite of multiplication is division. So we now have y, negative y over negative 1. That is now y. So what is this? 
what is 7 minus 2x over negative 1? 7 over negative 1 is negative 7. And then this one is negative 2x divided by negative 1. So that's that will become positive, right? Again, our goal is to write it in this form. So we want our x to come first. So therefore, we can write that as 2x minus, I'm sorry, this is minus, minus 7. When you flip it, you have 2. So basically, I just flipped it. But don't forget to include the sign. So this is positive 2x. So that's why I have 2x. I have negative 7 here. So that's why I also have negative 7 here. So that is our slope intercept form. Y is equal to 2x minus 7. So what is our slope m? Our m is 2 and our b is negative 7. This one. Understand? For our last example, we have 2y minus 3x is equal to 4. This is our y term over here. So remember, we have to eliminate the x, the term involving x first. So this is minus 3x. So how do we eliminate minus 3x here? Opposite operation. So if this is minus 3x, we will now, what will we do? We will add 3x on both sides of the equation. All right? But this will cancel out. We have 2y is equal to 4 plus 3x. Okay, but of course, I want to write it in such a way that x comes first. So, we will write it as 3x plus 4. Okay, and then what is happening here, class? 2 is multiplied to y. We only want to have a y here. So, what will we do? If 2 is multiplied to y, how do we get rid of 2? We again divide both sides by 2. So y, so this gets cancelled out. What is this? 3x over, remember you distribute that. This is 3x over 2. Plus, what's next? 4 over 2. Okay? 4 over 2. So what is that? y is equal to 3x over 2 plus 2. But how do you write it in slope-intercept form? 3x over 2 can be written as, what is that number multiplied to x here? That is 3 halves. Understand? So we have 3 halves x plus 2. So therefore, class, what is our m? Our M is 3 halves and our B is 2. Okay? So you now try this quiz. So remember that the answer to this quiz can be seen in our website. Don't forget to look at the link in the description below. Try to answer that. And the complete solution, again, don't forget to go to our website. All right? I hope that you learned a lot from watching this video lesson. If you have any questions at all, please write them down on the comment section below and I will give you an answer as soon as I can. If you like this video, please share it and like it. And again, don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel. See you in my next video lesson.